Aries, and welcome to Ascending Soul's Journey. I am Lorianne, here to give you the messages for the month of July. We're going to take a look at the sun, moon, and rising sign of Aries, and I myself have a rising sign in Aries. But one thing right off the bat, the message I'm getting for a lot of you is watch out. Now, this could be in a negative way. It could be in a positive way, but let's take a look and see what it comes out for you. So we're going to look at your side first and then the other side, whoever you're dealing with. It may very well be your own self, the entire reading, but you'll know what parts are for you, it, if not the whole thing. We have the Ten of Pentacles, and this is feeling grounded. You may actually get the money that you've been waiting for. This is a payout coming in. And typically, this can be from any area of life. And what I am seeing is, is it is related to a contract, but that can be through a death, that, you know, through uh, a will, that can be through a winning in court. Whatever it is, I feel something is coming into you, and the, the increments will be different for all of you. The two of swords, this is blinded. You didn't, you don't, you may not even know this is coming. Okay, you may not have any clue this is coming. But for a lot of you, I feel that you're actually looking to create more security in your life. You may be feeling like you're blinded as you're going through all the life changes that are coming into our world. And we have to move in and roll into the life changes because the world isn't going to stop for any group it's just going to keep going right and what i feel for some of you you are going to see what is going to lead you to this right here this blindfold is going to come off in the month of july now this may be around a person it could have to do with a um an actual family dynamic you know the ten of pentacles that can be the grounding from our family the ten of cups and that's what i'm talking about now you had four four cards flew out on the opposing side, so we're gonna look at all of them. This may very well be a family, and I just did a reading. If you have relationship to a Virgo, you may wanna check out their reading. Um, we have feeling guilt, feeling loss, feeling the lack of love when it comes to family. So you don't have the grounding. You don't feel like you belong for some of you, and I get that. A lot of us do not necessarily fit in with our own birth family. But nobody said we're supposed to fit in with our own birth family. That's our society saying that. But we have soul families that we connect to. I get you, you get me, but we can grow up around people. We just don't get, we don't get each other. They may be one direction, an opposing side of you. So we do have the card of judgment, and this is about looking and reevaluating this situation again. Because if you look really close at this situation, you may actually hear what I just said, and it could help you to move past whatever took place in this dynamic. For a lot of you, I feel you're gonna connect in a whole new way, but this isn't necessarily with those people, although it could be. I feel for a lot of you, you're gonna meet and uh, you're gonna reconcile difference with this in your mind, in your logic, you're gonna make sense and you're gonna pick an, a group, an organization that you're gonna click with just like that. And not only that, I feel you're gonna actually stand out in this group, bringing you in the 10 of Pentacles. So it's a really beautiful energy. Now one card flew on the floor and that is the reason. We have the King of Wands on the floor. This can absolutely be you, okay? Because it is on your side that I'm looking at. This may have everything to do with relationships where you feel that relationships, there's just never been a grounded relationship when I'm talking about romance in any area of life. The King of Wands is a person who is very bold and they stand out in a spotlight and that represents you. This is a fellow Aries, a Leo or a Sagittarius and that very well could be who you're dealing with. This is a detail card, right? So it can be one in a general reading. It's not specific for you, but we're trying to make it uh, where it can benefit you. You know, this King of Wands has their back to you and I feel that you guys, both of you, turn your back towards each other absolutely because we do have this and we have the judgment card so feeling like they didn't love you feeling like that you did not fit in that group actually tore the two of you apart 
and it, it broke your heart. And here's all the cards that flew out. It broke your heart. It broke their heart equally. It wasn't just you. I feel it actually did hurt the family. They didn't want you to leave. They just didn't know how to connect with you. So you may be getting information. This is the Page of Swords. This is something coming in via internet, maybe a text message. Some form of information coming into you when it comes to the family dynamic. <coughs> the Emperor. It could have to do, like I said, with a parent figure or you're the parent. The emperor also represents the zodiac sign of Aries. And in this card, there is a turtle on the bottom indicating that it has taken a really long time. So for this group of you, they're showing me 5-6, 5-6 years. You may not have been in communication with your family or whoever this particular person is. Honestly, I don't feel like this is a job offer as much as it is reconciling in your own mind where you're going to see for the first time, you're going to see a piece of you that is so valuable that you don't need anybody around you that's going to hold you back in life because you're the Nine of Pentacles, my beautiful. This is you, the Nine of Pentacles, and with this one last pentacle, whatever's coming in is the last pentacle bringing you in your own self to the Ten of Pentacles. You're going to balance your own self out. You're going to create the family life that you want. And I really believe you're going to get an offer to join an organization. Now, this organization, I feel, is going to be a very big one. It's probably international. But you are going to hold a big part of that. You may be the spokesperson for this uh, organization eventually. I don't mean right off the get-go, although it's a possibility. But what I'm hearing is you have an opportunity that is going to bring you again to this. This is a big payout coming in. This is money coming in one at a time. So this could be 10 new contracts coming in for you if this is your own business. But again, this is reconciling in your mind so that you can create the opening, the window for the love, which I just shuffled the deck and that came out in Virgo's reading, by the way. Um, and they're saying, you have been patient long enough. The patience that you have put into your own work, into your own self-discovery, your own self-growth is has earned you, has earned you the reward that you deserved. Well done, Aries. <laughs> okay, let's pull a romance card. For some of you, it is romance. It is, and this person is your romantic partner. This is somebody coming into your life, somebody already in your life, whether you're with them or separated or not, that could actually be the one in your life, and you know that. You felt it inside of you probably from the first time that you met them. While they're going through all of their life changes, you still believed it. But with this, you know, there is that little apprehension, and the doubt is what can keep us held in a moment in, in that period of being stuck. So for those of you going through the Twin Flame journey on the 24th of June, I'm starting a program. This is an eight-week series where we're going to talk about the journey from the beginning all the way to manifesting, all right? And I feel you guys are moving into the final phase where you're going to start manifesting by the end of summer. And July is going to be the beginning. That's two months over the summer. You're going to really make some huge, profound changes. Now... When we look at this could be the one, again, you know, we have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We have almost everything we do. We have all elements on the board. So we have an opportunity for balance. Remember, we have to bring in the love, the cups. We've got to bring in the air. That's the air sign. We have to bring in earth our earth signs and equally with your sign as well, your element as well. So we do have the card of Maya and this is about studying and learning. When it comes to relationships with your work, with your family, with this organization, some of you may be learning how to engage in relationships on a healthy level is what I'm hearing. The Ten of Pentacles, this is grounded, this is beautiful. The Ten of Pentacles is absolutely what we want underneath us. So it's leading me to say, hey, you know, you're going to make friends with a group of people, whether it's new or old, whether this is a new or old romance, 
this is the right one for you. This is about soul connections, the real connection, the one that you work so hard to get, right? So watch out because I feel if you turn your head the wrong way, you may not see this person. You may miss this opportunity. I don't feel it will be missed forever, but it will be delayed, you know, anywhere in your particular uh, cycle that you're in, whether that's a year, a month, for most of you, it's probably a three-year cycle. So we do have the Eight of Wands and it flew out on the ground. Somebody's afraid to make that call. Somebody's afraid to reach out, but it will take place. Now I do feel this is actually the communication when, when it comes in, it's gonna be closer around the, 20, the 20th through the 30th of July. So the last two weeks of July, most likely. We have the Sun card. And that's what I'm talking about, healing your inner child in order for you to see the value of who you are and recognize amazing things about yourself. You've got to look inside and you went through this journey. This is for a group of you where you did analyze yourself and you analyze the situation from all angles so that you could see how it worked in your life well done the blindfolds coming off by the end of july you're going to see clearly you're going to know exactly whether this is the right moment whether this is the right opportunity so you guys please thumbs up this video that's our way of helping humanity to help other areas that need to listen to this message have a great july much love